Hello everybody and welcome to our second video related to lesson 12-5 circles in the coordinate plane and in this video we are going to solve some of the questions in the book questions 1 till 5, 9, 13, 15, 17, 19, 23, 25 and 29 which you will find them in pages 800 and 801 from your book now I hope you uh, at least tried and practice them uh, first before you check the answers that we are going to provide because uh, as I always say practice makes perfect and if you try them first and then check the answers you can uh, benefit more from your uh, learning process okay so let's start question number one what is the standard equation of each circle now if you studied properly if you reviewed the lesson first before you will know that the standard equation ha is of the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared so here we have h and k both of them are equal to zero i'm going to replace them here and the equation and r is equal to four first i'm going to simply replace the equation the values so it's x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals to 4 squared. And the next step is simplifying. x minus 0 is x. So it is x squared here. I don't need the parentheses anymore. And y minus 0 is also y squared. And 4 squared is 16. So the equation will be x squared plus y squared equals to 16. Now, in number two, again, I'm looking for the standard equation. So it is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. And it is a good practice to always start by writing the equation first. Put it in front of you. Okay. And then look at the question. Every value has a position where we are going to put it. So x minus h this is h y minus k this is k and equals to r squared this is r so the equation will look like x minus 1 squared plus y minus negative 1 squared equals to radical 5 squared so x minus 1 there is nothing we can simplify about it y minus negative 1 i have two minuses so to the, together they will be equal to 1 plus and with the radical 5 squared, the square and the radical will cancel each other and the outcome is 5. Now remember, uh, this process of canceling each other, it works only when this number right here is positive. Okay, radical negative 5 squared has no solution. Okay, is undefined because we cannot put a negative radicand. So this one, I cannot say it is cancel equals to negative 5. This is not correct at all. Okay, so this canceling is only true when the number right here is positive, which is most of the cases in this, uh, in this lesson. Okay, so again, this one remains the same. X minus 1 squared will remain the same y minus negative 1 will become y plus 1 and radical 5 squared it will become 5. now number 3 and 4 what is the center and the radius of each circle now again it's a good practice to put the equation next to you to notice that here the coordinates of the uh, center is h k and here I have minus h and minus k. So the value I see here, okay, it's the opposite sign of the center of the circle. So here, whatever the sign is, I see it, I flip it. Okay, so here I have negative 8, so it means it is positive 8. h is equal positive 8. Here I have y squared, which means y, I didn't subtract it with anything. So it's y minus 0 squared which means the k value is 0. And since the radius, since here I have r squared, this is the square of the radius. So, 
the center is 8, 0, just like I said before, and r is equal to the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. Whatever the number here, I have to take the square root. Now, doing the same thing to number 4, I have positive 2, I have to flip the sign, which means it will become negative 2. I have minus 4, flip the sign, positive 4. These are the coordinates h and k of the center, and 7 is square of the radius. This is r squared, which means if I want to calculate r, I have to take the square root. So, I will see that uh, the answer of number 4 is negative 2, 4 for the coordinates of the center and radical 7 as the radius. Now, unless otherwise mentioned, which they didn't mention it here, okay, uh, it's preferred to keep it as radical. I don't have to change it into, the, into decimal. Now, number 5. What is the least amount of information that you need to graph a circle or to write the equation of a circle? Now, the least information to graph it is mostly two, two informations. What do we need? If I look back to the general equation right here, I will find that I need two things, the radius and the center. So, first of all, I need a center and a radius. If I know where is the center and how much is the radius, I can find the equation, which means I can graph it. Now, if I don't have the radius, okay, I need another point that is on the circle. So, I need the center. Where does the point start? Or where is the center of the circle? Where is the initial point where all the uh, points of the circumference are equidistant from? And a point on the circle. Okay. Now, finally, if I don't have the center, okay, I need two points on a circle that helps me find the center. Okay. And these two points, in order to help me find the center, they should form a diameter. So, two points that form a diameter, I can find the center by calculating their midpoint, and using one of the points, I can calculate the distance, which is the radius, which means I can get the equation. So, any of these three cases is enough. Now, number three, um, it will be a very rare event in this lesson, but it is still possible. With two di diameter endpoints, means if I have a circle, this point and this point that forms the diameter, they are enough for me to draw the circle because I can find the center, which means I can find the radius, which means I can draw the circle or write this equation. Now, write the standard equation of each circle. In this, uh, in this part, we are going to solve number nine. Center is zero, three, the radius is equal to seven. And again, just like every time, if he wants the, uh, the standard equation, I have the center ready, I have the radius ready, so I go directly to the equation. So, the value of h is 0, so I'm going to replace it with 0. The value of k is a 3, so I'm going to replace it with a 3. And the radius is 7, so I'm going to replace r with 7. I will get x minus 0 squared, y minus 3 squared equals to 7 squared. Now, all I have to do is simplify. x minus 0 is x, so it will be x squared here. y minus 3, there's nothing to simplify. I will keep it like this. And 7 squared is equal to 49, so I'm going to simplify this one into 49. And I will get x squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 49. Did you get the same answer? I hope you did, because it's very easy. Now, write the equation of each circle. Also, we will solve for a number 13. Now, this, this h is equal to negative 9. This k is equal to negative 4. And the radius is radical 5. So, again, I start with the equation, the standard equation. x minus h squared, 
y minus k squared equals to r squared and I start to replace values. Every value has its proper place. So it will be x minus negative 9. Pay attention that when I replace a negative value, I put it inside a parenthesis and y minus negative 4 and radical 5. So what do I have to simplify? I have two minuses that they are going to be simplified into plus I have two minuses here also that we are going to simplify them into plus and radical 5 squared the square cancels the radical in this case uh, and I will have only 5 so the equation is x plus five, 9 squared sorry y plus 4 squared equals to 5 number 15 write the equation of each circle so still the same question I have the center I have the radius I will start everything is ready so I will start by writing the standard equation h is equal to negative 4 k is equal to 0 and r is equal to 3 replacing these values I will get x minus negative 4 squared y minus 0 squared equals to 3 squared and two minuses will make a plus and the 3 squared is equal to 9 and this is here y minus 0 is y so it will be just simply y squared without parenthesis and here you go see very simple now write the standard equation of each circle in the diagram at the right so for number 17 we need the circle with center p we need this one now pay attention to the diagram what do i see Although I, it takes me two squares to get to this value right here, but they wrote that this value is 4. What does it mean to me? It means that every square is two units. When I count one square, I'm counting two units. Now, why is that important? It is important because I need to find the coordinates of P and coordinate of one of the points inside uh, the circle. So here, the coordinates of P in this case, okay, it is two, two steps, two squares to the left. So it means it is negative four units. Because remember, every square is two units, so two to the left, it means negative two with another negative two, so it is negative four. And one step up, one unit up, it, uh, sorry, one square up, it means two units. So the coordinates is negative four and two. Now, a second thing I could notice on, on this diagram is that they didn't give me another point to use it as a reference so here I can choose any of the points on this circle for a reference now the easiest points are the one directly above directly to the right down and left one of these points are will help me find because I can easily find the radius without even calculating the equation or using the equation of the distance okay as you can see it is two units two units two units two units sorry two squares not two units two squares from the center to any of these two points so two squares it means four units so the radius is equal to four again one more time let me do it uh, again Okay, here if from the center, okay, I go one square, two squares, and I reach here. This is a point on the circle, so it is four units away. Two squares is four units away. Okay, which means the radius is equal to four. Now, if you uh, watch the video related to explaining the lesson you would have noticed that there is a similar uh, question but there they specified the point I need to use if they specify the point I don't do the counting anymore I use the 
equation of the distance to calculate the radius. So, now I know that the coordinates are negative 4 and 2 for the center, and the radius is equal to 4. I'm going to replace them in the equation. So it will be x minus negative 4, y minus 2 equals to 4 squared, and then the simple simplifying of these two minuses into a plus, and this 4 squared into 16. Sorry, without a squaring. So it will be x plus 4 squared, y minus 2 squared, and 4 squared is 16. Okay. It looks kind of tricky, but it is actually a very easy question once you know what to do. Now, write the standard equation of the circle with the given center that passes it through the given point. So they gave us the center, they gave us a point, and now they, they want us to get the standard equation. So since I don't have the radius directly, just like in the previous questions, I need to calculate the radius. So, how do I calculate the radius? Simple, I have two points with their coordinates, so I use the distance formula. The radius is equal to the distance between this point and this point. Now, which one to choose to be point one, which one to choose to be point two, it is your choice as long as you are consistent. In my case, I chose this to be number two, and this is to be number one. So x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. I will get negative 2 minus negative 2 squared, 10 minus 6 squared. And the rest is simplifying work. You can put it on your calculator. You can use, use it mentally. I will do it uh, step by step for you just to show you what happened. Negative 2 subtracted by itself. It is equal to 0. And 10 minus uh, 6, it is 4. So it's 0 squared plus 4 squared. It's equal to 0 plus 16, which is equal to radical 16 equals to 4. So now the radius is equal to 4. I have the center. So I'm going to replace them in the equation. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals to R squared. Uh, R is equal to 4. H is equal to negative 2. And K is equal to 6. So now X minus negative 2 plus Y minus 6 squared equals to 4 squared. Okay. And these two will become a plus and this one will be calculated to 16 it will be x plus 2 squared y minus 6 squared equals to 16. okay now let's move forward write the standard equation of the circle with the given center that passes it through the given point now here they they made it a little bit easier for me related to the point zero zero so i'm going to use this one as point two and the center i'm going to use it for point one and also remember that it is the coordinates h and k, so I'm going to use them in the equation later on. So the, just like the previous question, I will start with the distance formula to calculate the radius. Okay, if he didn't give me the radius, or he didn't give me a graph with easy to calculate the radius, okay, I'm going to use the distance formula. Okay, but since point 2 is it's easier to subtract by 0 I'm going to choose this one to be point 2 so it will be 6 minus 0 squared x2 minus x1 and 5 minus 0 squared for y2 minus y1 so it will be the square root of 6 squared plus 5 squared which is 36 plus 25 equals to radical 41 and now I have the radius I'm going to use it in the equation. x minus h, h is equal to 6, so this one will be 6. y minus k, k is equal to 5, so this one will be 5. And r is equal to radical 41, so I'm going to replace it with a radical 41. So it will be x minus 6 squared, y minus 5 squared equals to radical 41 squared. There is nothing to simplify on the left side. On the right side, I'm going to square radical 41. It will become 41. And that's my final answer. Now, 
Next question, number 25. Find the center of the and the radius of each circle, then graph the circle. We are going to skip graphing the circle for a while. Okay, maybe we will do it later on a different video. Let's focus about the center and the radius. Now, if we know the general equation of the question, okay, it is x minus h squared, y minus k squared equals to r squared. So this one is minus h. Remember, if I want, it is minus h in the equation, which means the radius sign is flipped. I have to flip this number right here. So positive 7, h is negative 7. Negative 5, flip the sign, it is positive 5. And this is r squared. In order to calculate r, I should take its square root and calculate it equals to 4. Again, simplest form equals to 4. Okay? If uh, if the radical cannot be simplified, don't change, don't necessarily change it into radical, the simplest form, unless we ask you otherwise. Okay. Now, each equation models the position and range of a tornado alert siren. Describe the position and range in of each. Now, in number twenty-nine, <coughs> we have a tornado alert siren. Okay. Now, uh, if you ever uh, heard about it, if you live in a place that a uh, tornado happens, there's always that sirens that alert people around to that there is a tornado or a hurricane coming, and uh, it helps a lot in saving lives when it uh, by giving them a, a head start to to go and find shelter. So these are situated in places. So the numbers here are related to the position of this uh, siren. Now, uh, if we consider the the point, the origin zero zero, as we as our um, as our position or our current position, okay. The position of the tornado is the center. Okay? The position of the tornado siren or tornado alert siren is the center of the circle. So how do I find the center here? It is 5. Remember, I flipped the sign. So it's positive 5 and positive 7. Okay? And the range of each siren is the radius. So here r squared is equal to, to 81. So r is equal to radical 81, which is equal to 9. Now these numbers right here, okay, they, they mean distances. So the range is, let's say, 9 miles, that's the range of the siren, or 9 kilometers, or 9 yards. And the position here is, how far is it from you if I, you have to go right and up? Okay, so here, the position is 5 units to the right, 7 units up, 5, 7, from your current position. And the range of this siren is, let's say, 9 miles. They didn't give us a lot of information, so here I'm just guessing that if, let's say, we have this coordinates plane right here, you are sitting right here, or you are standing right here, and if I go 5 steps to the uh, right, and then 7 up, I will find the siren right here, and it has a range of 9 miles. Okay? To have a range of 9 miles. But in order to get more specific details, maybe we, they should have given a more uh, uh, elaborate uh, question. 